Everybody can strike. Okay, good. How could you make it more powerful? It's a strike. It should be by enough to hit the target to generate more power. It's just to by using your body mechanics. Proper body mechanics. You can strike. See that? You can strike. Something tells me that would hurt. <laughs> We are here with Grandmaster Felix Royalis. We are shooting our second digital seminar with this man on the art of Pakamut, the Cebuano fighting style. This man has been gifted the lineage of this art by his grandfather, and we are so honored that he has agreed to share this art, this gift, with the world. And we're the ones lucky enough to be the conduit to that. So, super honored, so thankful for you to, to be you. here today. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a tutorial, the fundamentals and striking and how to generate power in your strikes. So how about you, I know nothing, so, so this is a blank canvas for you to paint. Okay, uh, first uh, in, uh, in, our, in our system, our style, how to generate the power in the strikes is we have to understand and learn the, the basic, which is you, uh, you know already how to hold your stick properly, this is how you hold, uh, if you're right handed, switch it to your right, um, then this about like uh, let's see about like three to four inches. Okay. Uh, the length of the ponyo we use this later on for uh, for close quarter combat or taking away weapon. So this is how you hold properly. Okay. Okay. And now after you learn how to hold properly, this is like natural grip, side time, under time, and some people do reverse. So once you learn that with your proper stances, you see this proper footwork. Distribution of your weight on this kind of uh, footwork is just like 60-40. The weight in here is about 60%. The weight weight in the back is about 40. Okay, so now how to generate the power? The kind of strike that we have is this is let's say a forehand, a forehand okay. slash. This is a slash. Okay, it is a forehand slash or backhand slash. So let's say uh, like a forehand. Everybody can strike. Okay, good. How could you make it more powerful? Okay, so incorporate your strike, your slashing, and at the same time you have to move your hips, your body, to generate more power. So just like, see, when you start from here, body torque, boom. Just like if you strike, not just only striking to the to the target, but also follow through, just to make it more powerful. Okay, so I'm noticing you're, you're unlocking your legs. To yeah, get, just twisting. To like get it. those hips moving. Is that yes? Where's the power being generated? Is it, it coming from your from your hips also and also the the trouble of the stick because it generates the kinetic energy when she gets in there, it's so powerful. Okay. That's why if, in the, in uh, let's say if you're using the blade in Japanese, the most uh, cutting power, the most powerful part of the the blade is the tip. This one it cuts. So once you strike, we're not gonna be striking with this, uh, with the middle of the of the of the blade or this uh, or this the stick. Right. So once you when you just strike, it should be by enough to hit the target to generate more power. It's just to by using your body mechanics, proper body mechanics. If I strike, see that? If I strike, something tells me that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it hit. definitely. Uh, yeah, uh, we're using this like lighter stick, but uh, how much more if you're using the heavier one? Right. Okay. So the kind of strike that we have is just this is a slash. Okay. This is slash. But it could be also going upward like this, going upward or going downward. It's like in any direction, the kind of strike, it could be a forehand slash, a backhand slash. It could be a forehand upward, a backhand upward. Or it could be a diagonal, a horizontal forehand, a backhand horizontal. Okay, that's one kind of strike. Now, another one is what we call, this, uh, this, uh, uh, this is like a, a twirl. So the twirl is just like making a loop, making a circle. That way, just like to practice with that, to get the direction of making a loop. Okay. And what and would you be? What would be? Would you be targeting the hand? What? Would, what's this strike? The target is pretty much if you're fighting long range here, this is gonna be my target here, or it could be the head, it could be my your shoulder. Pretty much every any target. So to practice with this, to to uh, practice with this kind of strike is you have to do it slow but you're doing just a circle making a loop and then what with your shoulder all the way once you learn that you just bend your elbow a little bit bam see that 
See that? I see, I hear that, that yeah. powerful, how powerful that is. Yeah, it feels pretty good. Now, once you learn that, Eric, yeah. to, to make it more powerful, it, the power also came from your wrist. wrist. So that's why you practice with your wrist, eh? See? Just continue. Bam, 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 bam. Now, make it as a strike. It's like a whip. See that? See, so there's a four. And I can tell you, once you're doing it right, since you learn already the basic, the fundamentals, we just like, time. See? Okay, now, let's put it together, the slash and the twerk. The reason being is from here. If, let's say, if you got into a fight or a composition, how about, like my grandpa said, if I strike you black, what you gonna do? What I'm gonna do? When I strike you black already? Yeah. So, I don't need to get stuck in here. So what I need to do is to re follow through with the tour. Then, see that? So this is a strike already. A combination of a slash and a tour. Very cool. You see that? So if you, you face this way, see that? Okay, so but, it, <laughs> but the first strike, I mean, it's not over the head. We're just doing, we're just powering through. Powering her, but you'll see it. Yeah. Bam! Okay. See that? Bam. Right. Okay. So, to apply this one, when you apply from here, if this is going to be uh, in a piling with a stick, it's like, if I strike, you block, uh, you block the strike, yeah. I follow through with a, with a twirl. So, one, two. Nice. So, one, two. Again. Yeah. So it also came from backhand. Nice. Yes. A pull a backhand Ooh. slash. Yeah. When it meets to the uh, target, this real angle. So you can do both forward and both, back. Uh, yeah, the forehand and backhand. We just like this is forehand, backhand. Forehand, backhand. Now, generate more power. So from here, use your body mechanics. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> All right. I want to practice that. That looks awesome. Wow. So these are only two strikes. There's more. We have the corp. We have the abanico, like a fan strike. We have the flick, meaning the flick is like a like a job. Bam! See that? If it's close range, you don't have to. It's like a slash, right? You just like flick, like a job. Quick jab. Yeah. Nice. So when you're fighting, let's say from here, yeah. I just like, pop, pop. It's like I hit your hand, smash the hand. If I get close here, pop, pop. see that? But notice, if it's a sports, it's good. But in actual, it could be a strike in there. It could be a strike in there too. And then monitor from here. See that? Right. And then just like move to pop, some other techniques. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> okay. I have, a, I have a feeling. We are going to have a good time for the next five days of shooting. This is going to be I know. awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're this is just you. awesome. All right, we get Thank to spend the whole, the whole time. We're going to keep this footage coming. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next one. Okay. Thank you. Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the full-length digital seminar and full training curriculum, click the link below.